Hello, my name is Errol. A few of you have been asking me all sorts of questions, most of which have been put at the end of the credits or in the description of the YouTube vid, but just to acquiesce, I am making this particular vid with an actual intention of being tutorial oriented. As you watch the mind numbing task of me animating, I will tell you the complete process of how I did that terribly short clip you just saw. I rushed it through in 10 minutes while still doing 24 frames per second, so it's rough in places and the stick fuss is getting looser than an incontinent on a prune diet, but it serves its purpose. Mmm, prunes. First off, the little figures I animate are called Stickfuss, and the Rastasia link I have at the end of my videos are for those who live in the Netherlands. This is only applicable for one of you, so for those in North America, you can go to the Saison website and do a retailer search. I live in Toronto myself, and I know all sorts of stores that have Stickfuss, at least three, so if you live there, just ask. The camera I use is a Logitech QuickCam 4000, not a 5000, not a 9000, and not a T2000, but a Logitech QuickCam 4000. The main reason being that it has a manual focus, and when doing stop motion animation, you don't want it adjusting things for you. I don't stand for it in real life, so I won't have it done for me by my cameras. The program I use on this little laptop of mine is Stop Motion Pro. I still use version 4 because it's good enough for me. It crashes more than a virus laden PC, but it saves everything automatically so no work is lost. I use Lego on the feet of the stick fuzz to keep them pinned down. That's why you never see any of the feet of the stick fuzz. The Lego pieces I use is a tile one by one with a clip, that's the black thingy thing, and the plate one by one round, which is the circular white thingy. As of yet, I'm still too scared to get them to walk. And finally, the lightsabers I used was the General Grievous Clone Wars action figure. It came with four lightsabers, so I scoured Walmart toy section to find those things and pushed away younglings who were preventing me from fulfilling my destiny. And now continue to watch as I animate and hit the lamp and get sore with my children as they come in to constantly update me on the intricate plot details of Ella Enchanted. <laughs> I love to play a lot of games are great, you'll find me up all night, maybe for Christmas fun to watch me is a brilliant graphic novel, writing in a month is Mad Magazine with Alfred E. New Mandarin, I'd like to understand by me with Will Wheaton and River is that girl from Firefly, me to the moon and we can living on a press it on repeater, seller, starter, Jacques social networks and web 2.org on trail, you die of dysentery, we would help to take down eyes and guardian swarm for gossip, I see to you. I may seem obsessed, but there's no contest I love you more than that, so much more than that Okay, now to bring this into After Effects So that I can put in those lightsabers, huzzah Okay, go to Project, right click, import my new file Which is from Stop Motion Pro, I'll open it And I'll drag it down onto this little film thingy to make a new composition and in that composition, I'll right click and I'll make a new solid. And I will call this solid lightsaber. Now, I'm going to use an animation preset that I got from a place called Video Copilot, where Andrew Kramer taught how to use this amazing thing called a lightsaber. He's got a lot of great um, tutorials. And it's this that I'm using to make lightsabers. And I rotoscope it, I go through every single frame and draw it in. So. The way that they wanted to do is to go and start on the last frame and go backwards. So I start on the last frame and I'm now setting up the where it is lined up. I'll slowly do this, lining up slowly. Then now that I've got that set, I'm going to go and do something. Oh, I'm still slowly setting things up. Now I'm going to change the color to a nice red. I'm going to extend the thickness to 13. And I learned to change the shutter speed so that it'd be thicker as it moves so that it can have a nice little lightsaber blur that you see in those movies. And now I'll also change the perspective a little bit. And then finally, what I should do is I'm going to go and click the little stopwatch so that I can set keyframes. And now I'm going to do my rotoscoping. And this is just an, uh, an immense fun job doing it. I'm just pressing, I'm pressing page up and page down to cycle through each frame. And as it goes through each frame, I change the little crosshairs so that it lines up. So here I go. Look, how exciting is that? Wow. Back and forth I go, trying to make sure that they line up ever so closely. I press the tilde key to make it uh, 
full screen so that I can see it easier. And then I page down and page up and page down and page up. And I slowly go through each one. And I'm not going to bore you with this talk. And I'll speed this video up. But now you can see the wonderful magic of lightsabers. Our attic has eight bins of Lego Mighty Orbots. They're joining together forever and never. Any story had a tray you to help me research. The line writer was an addicting web toy story with Woody and Buzz Aldrin punch some guy in the Facebook has me blocking every Apple and PC wars are so stupid. The fool who messed with T-Rex is so cool and so our Raptorans fill up my hard drive space 2001 and blue the noobs who pick on when they type all capture the flag on my baby deep down it looks like i'm hardcore but know that i love you more so much more than that completely more than that we're almost done huzzah well i'm almost done you probably left a minute to go anyway here I am in Adobe Premiere, and I'm just using the same template that I used for my animation tutorial, Stickfuzz, or Stickfuzz animation tutorial. I don't even know what it's called. And as you can see, I have the same credits and everything, and I'll just use that because it's already set up to import and export, well, especially exports. So I'm going to import my After Effects movie. I exported it as a .mov. And there it is, and I'm just going to overlay and it's only like, what is it, like three seconds long. And I'll play it quickly, and it happily goes. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring in some sounds. And I can get these sounds from fanfilms.com or theforce.net. And I'm going to do the first hum, and I think it's hum 4. And I'll just drag that in, or I'll overlay it in. And I'll go to the second, or what am I doing? I think what I'm doing is I'm just making it a bit softer. Oh, no, what I'm doing is that I'm having it fade out. And so I'm just going to the end, and I'm going to have it fade out by going to the effect controls. I do know what I'm doing here. I'm just re-recording the audio. Next, I'm going to listen to what that sounds like. Nice fade out. Huzzah. How great that is. Okay, next I'm going to find a swing in Audio 2 channel, and I will Audio 2 layer, and I'll use this Drift with 2, whatever it's called. Drag that in, and I'll s try and get it to line up. And it's not, so I'll move it over to the right a bit. And it's sort of lined up. I'll play it once. It's not perfect. And so I'm going to be a bit more anal. Zoom in a bit. And just move it to the right a bit. And now I'll play it. And I think I'm fine with that. And there you go. All I have to do is just export this baby. And I'll be done. I'll add in some other credits at the end too. But that's pretty much it. Huzzah! We're done! Yay! Thanks for watching. In the description of this video, i.e. that thing on the right where all the text is that people don't read, you'll find links to the sites I referenced in here. Also, in case you haven't noticed in the other Stickfuss animations, I do a brief blog about each one explaining how I did it. Or maybe how much I was annoyed by it. If you want to know what songs I used in this video, they're ones I've made, or it's off my Geek Love Songs album. So see ya, and watch the rest of my video. Uh, that sounds lame. Bye-bye!